How you doing today? AmeriHealth or Highmark? That's the question. AmeriHealth or Highmark? Which insurance company should I choose when choosing Medicaid? All right. So look, good question. Stick around with me till the very end. I promise I'll answer all the questions that you can answer, that you can ask me with the best of my ability. All right. So look, if you don't know me by now, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home health care guy. Uh, what I like to do is help people out through their Medicaid journey. A lot of people need the best answers for in-home health care. You know, it's a lot of families out here trying to figure out how they're going to make ends meet and take care of themselves at the same time, you know? So these are like the little questions that people, you know, run into along their journey. And me, I'm here to help you, right? So who do I like to help? I, like, I love to help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. And listen... I do that because I believe that every family out here should have financial stability. You know, financial stability is when you don't have no up and downs, when you know that your lights is going to be on next week, when you know that you're not going to be able to have no, you know, small little hiccups in your eating pattern. You know what I mean? Things like that. This is all important stuff, all good stuff. Now, look, if you're here with me now, hashtag live, all right? If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast, all right? Anything you got to say, you know, while we on a live, if you don't want to uh, comment directly in the comments, feel free to reach out and text me while we on here. Now, look, don't call me because you're going to mess up the live, but absolutely feel free to text me while we on here. 302-689-3240. The number should be like right there for you. Let me see. Right there. All right. 302-689-3240. Don't forget hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast wherever you at. You know what I mean? Uh, so look, a lot of people getting into Medicaid, they want a caregiver, they want a paid caregiver, you know what I mean? Because they probably already got a caregiver, that's their son, that's their wife, that's their husband, that's their brother, mother, whoever. But the thing is, they're not getting paid. So in order to achieve the best help, you want your help to always be getting paid, man, because you know what I mean? It's nothing from stopping them from not coming around. So we need them to have a good reason to come around, you know what I'm saying? So people always say, KC, how does that affect me when I'm getting into Medicaid? Because as soon as you get in, they offer you two choices. They offer you Highmark or they offer you AmeriHealth. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. I cannot, being as though I have, I don't know your whole situation and you didn't put it in the comment yet. I can't advise you which way to go. What I can tell you is it is no getting to LTSS, which is the program that you need to be in in order to get a paid aid unless you choose one of the two. AmeriHealth or Highmark. Now, just from what I know, Highmark is a way bigger company. You know what I mean? Way bigger than AmeriHealth. And AmeriHealth is like a smaller company that's, I'm not going to say more in tune with the people. What I'm going to say is you got less people to deal with, so sometimes you can get to case managers a little better. Not hating on Highmark because I got some of my best case managers call me from Highmark. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like a 50-50 toss. It really depends on you and how you want to, uh, I guess, structure your deal. You know what I mean? You've got to look at everything like the deal because you are the asset. You're the asset. If you're the client or you're the caregiver, you're still the asset. Now, the, the client is the main asset, and they need as many uh, uh, um, luxuries, comforts, uh, as much help as they can get. So what I would do is the person who's going to, uh, you, you got a transitional case manager. When you get signed up for Medicaid, you'll have a transitional case manager, and that case manager will be with you until you get into the LTSS program, which is the long-term support system called long-term health care, you know, LTSS for sure, all right? So what I would do is I would tell the case manager everything, you know? See, a lot of people, they be getting like, uh, they be getting like amnesia when they get to the case manager and they say, oh, well, you know, I'm all right. And, you know, my son, Johnny, you know, he does a couple things for me and I'm cool. But then y'all call me and y'all like, look, KC, I need somebody to take me to the doctor. I need somebody to get my medicine. I need somebody to help me get up in the morning, help me go to bed, put my sheets on the bed, help me get dressed for the day. You need a lot of stuff. What I would suggest you doing, Maria, how you doing today? What I would suggest you do is contact the case manager up front, whoever they assign you. You want to tell them everything. You want to tell them everything due to the fact that you need as much help as you can get. You know what I mean? You don't want to close off any doors. You don't want to, you know, slight anybody. You want to let them give you all the resources, all the help that they got. Now, the final come down to which insurance company, uh, AmeriHealth or Highmark, is really going to depend on you. They texted me, yo, how you doing today? 
How you doing too, young lady? So look, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast, hashtag your city estate. Don't forget to share this and definitely let everybody know where you're watching this from, all right? So look, people call me with this question around the country. Sometimes in different areas, it's different providers for Medicaid and they always say, KC, which one should I go with? I tell them the same thing, man. It's up to you. The choice is yours, but find out, tell the case manager everything and find out what best works for you. And then what best works for you is what best works for you, if you understand what I'm saying. All right. So look, love to help you. If you need my help, 302-689-3240. Look, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get on the phone with your case manager right now. Even though you're not in long term, I'm going to get on the phone with your transitional case manager. I'm going to say, look, you know, Mr. Church, you know, this is what his needs are. You know what I mean? He's trying to figure out where he needs to go. You know what I mean? What, what, what should we do? You know, and then after that, I'm going to tell them that you requested our services and we'd love to help you. So, you know, if you need my help, you know what I mean? Figuring it out, figuring the road to take, the best path to follow. Don't hesitate to call me. Reach out. Never, never be afraid to call KC because I'm here for you. 302-689-3240. Look, uh, don't forget to share this information. You know a lot of people right now that's getting into Medicaid who need a caregiver and they want to know what's the best insurance to cover. You know, what's the best insurance company to go with under Medicaid? You know, uh, send them to this video, share this video. You know, if you're watching this on other forms of um, social media, make sure you subscribe because I got the best info on the web as far as in-home health care is concerned. Trust me, don't nobody know more than me. All right. So look. I ain't going to front. They may know more than me, but they not going to help you. They down for themselves. See, I'm a people person. Ain't no fun unless my friends can get some. You know what I mean? Everybody don't believe in that theory. So I'm going to tell you, I know the most. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to tell you the most. I'm going to give you the most. I'm going to give you the most value for your buck. If you need me, call me. 302-689-3240. Reliable aid is the way we're going to connect the paycheck to the pocket. You've been working too hard for too long. Let me put some money in your pocket. Call me. 302-689-3240. Look, I love you. My pop waiting on me. We got to go to dialysis. All right, pop. We out. Peace.